Hi Leo, welcome into a general weekly reading for you. I hope you're doing well. We're beginning with an overall message coming straight from spirit of let the abundance rain on in. You're meant for so much more. I feel as if this collective, at least to an extent, if not fully, feels as if they're meant for more moving forward, right along their path. It's this feeling of it could be more related to one, if not several different areas of your life. It could be your life as a whole, but I do sense that you moving forward have uh, certain changes coming to be within your uh, way of living, your lifestyle, when it comes to how much you're meant to succeed, when it comes to yeah, your career, your finances, and even love. I feel you're going to be seeing a highlight on the fact that you're meant to be an extremely abundant individual. Beautiful. Now we're beginning with the Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. It's a week of attention. Now it's part of the abundance you're gaining, but it doesn't uh, feel as if you want it at times and other points you do but i wouldn't be surprised if some wish onto the reading like myself gain attention and then feel as if um, you're meant for even more it depends on your situation and the type of leo you truly are but i wouldn't be surprised if this is a week with the eight of wands where things feel very busy very um, much like they're speeding on by at certain points or in general but i do feel as if there's a message coming through for some to buckle up because things are about to get very busy for you when it comes to new opportunities coming through when it comes to you succeeding more uh, being noticed and it leads to one beautiful opportunity after another after another but also taking on another message with the eight of wands you are doing a ton of speaking you can't help but want to and feel the need to get your leo voice out there good embrace it get your voice out there but find uh, the time to be trusting your intuition um, you know throughout this individual week because it's go going to not only help you individually and you know I want to say help you navigate moving forward but it's going to help you feel when it's the right timing and even how to go about getting your Leo voice out there and even accomplishing you know otherwise throughout the week but we haven't even spoken upon this there's new money throughout the week you might find there's a huge focus on a new opportunity, say a new job. It could be an expansion or an investor for your business. It could be a new business idea, but it may be as well, say something else within that existing career or job related uh, situation. Now I do feel as if there are people thinking about gifting you moving forward. Good. I feel as if you're meant to be drawn to this reading, showered with gifts, uh, appreciation, love, uh, compliments. Um, kudos to you for not giving up is what I'm hearing. I feel as if this collective is going to be pushed to throughout the week, look forward in such a grand manner because you're a manifester. What do you uh, see yourself um, being one with as far as uh, a living situation? You know, I don't see everybody drawn to the reading wanting say a big mansion, a castle, right? But what's going to be ideal for you? Don't think small in that sense. If it's a farmhouse, if it's a, a nice uh, quaint uh, cottage or something of the sort or a townhouse, envision the nicest version. And therefore you're going to find yourself, um, you know, gaining that seeing come to fruition because spirit is going to assist you with that as well you're going to be manifesting. So it's a co-creation kind of situation. But that was just one example. It could be in regards to say meeting somebody new to date, to see a commitment come to be with potentially could be um, in regards to um, that career situation, you name it. But I feel as if as well, for whatever reason, this week uh, brings up the, um, the topic of this Leo Collective needing to travel more moving forward. You're meant to experience culture, new areas, even revisit one or two, if not several of importance that you already went to. Um, I'm hearing you're a new person. You're a different version of yourself. You've changed. And so revisiting and even more so now being in a more, or moving forward, being in a more appropriate time to visit some new places. Um, I feel like some of which wanted to do some traveling, rewinding back at certain points in spirit is saying that you would not have appreciated it in the same light and you would not have been uh, in the same form that you're in, if you will. It's kind of weird wording, but you wouldn't be the version of yourself, uh, you know, when the divine timing is right to come to be. Anyways, the Six of Swords in reverse. There's one if not multiple areas of your life, multiple situations where you're thinking about how it's just not time to leave it behind yet. You might also be thinking about what you did leave behind rewinding back 
and what is more important um, to leave behind moving forward. It does feel like you are a very intuitive soul being drawn to this reading. No surprise there. And so that's coming into play throughout the week. But I also sense that water is key for you. Could be a sense of cleansing needed uh, as well, just, you know, a refreshing kind of feeling and vibe coming to be. But it may be somebody thinking about traveling to a body of water or two. Um, it could be as well you live by one or just uh, are visiting one, say a beach or a lake, something of the sort. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if you're pushed to um, continue or re-spark a healthy routine of yours because I do sense that this collective has the habit of, you know, say getting back on, um, you know, the train is what I'm hearing, on the boat of taking care of yourself in one if not multiple ways, uh, key ways, and then you fall off the boat or the train, okay? I feel like um, the train image wasn't good for the falling off, but um, you get the point. So I can relate. You need to keep up with, uh, even if you're re-sparking it, with, you know, working out, you know, taking care of your skin, you know, taking care of yourself otherwise. Maybe it's meditating, you know, uh, related to your situation and ask yourself, what actually makes me feel good? What makes me feel brighter, happier, glow uh, more so or in general? Because that's going to be key for you when it comes to every single aspect of your life right? Where, especially where you're putting your resources uh, and attention. But um, I'm hearing the word effort. The world card coming out. It's yet again another week where your world is changing and developing and you can't help but feel this is supporting you for the future. It's as if you can't at times or choose not to because of the busyness or other aspects of your life, notice the details of, uh, you know, the small moments of success are just uh, purposefulness that are supporting the ultimate uh, financial success or success otherwise the ultimate um, uh, let's just say more lying ahead for you I know that wasn't great wording but just going back to the overall message um, and it's spirit pushing you at certain points to stop in, in the midst of all that's going on in your life uh, throughout this week to maybe even surrounding it to, to notice oh, okay that person noticed my social media, right, of importance. They commented something important or I got a bunch of important comments um, or I succeeded in my job and that just felt kind of mundane or just usual um, or something I expected, but it's significant, all right? And it's a, a, a little piece of the big puzzle um, or just a, a snowflake is what they're giving me image and uh, message-wise in the midst of a snowballing effect towards a lot more for you. Does that make sense? I loved that way of uh, describing it. Um, and it feels like this week will teach you a lot about what you want and maybe even push you to reevaluate uh, a want or two, if not several for a select few, um, to maybe prepare in a sense for um, what lies ahead. We need you to be making uh, choices quite quickly because some of which don't have a um, ton of time a ton of time uh, for you to uh, dilly dally. Does that make sense? Or to decide or figure it out? Um, a fleeting choice is what I'm getting. The Emperor card and the Page of Cups. My friend, it's a week where you are thinking about your future once again, very much in um, planning mode. It's as if you might be applying to jobs or looking at options or applying to housing situations or reaching out to people of importance. Um, buckling down and doing what you have to do and it's paying off for you. It feels like it's spirit saying that some of which is uh, pre-planning, right? It's not the time yet to get that place to live, uh, you know, locked down or it's not that time, uh, the time to be stepping into the new employment opportunity, whether you want to, you know, be one with that or not, or it may not be time for you to meet that new special person. Um, but I do feel as if either way, looking into the options and thinking about what's going to work best for you, even if you think you already know, is significant. It's important. It's as if you, um, you know, getting a message from somebody online, uh, you know, say you were looking for somebody on a dating app, even if that's not the right person, it's going to leave you feeling special. It's going to leave you remembering their options. Um, and keep you moving forward, maybe even in your other areas of your life or one specifically. Um, so apply it as you may. But there may be certain moments where it's like, yeah, when pigs fly. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be rude. I mean, I may not even word it that way, but or even think about it that way. 
but it's just you knowing your worth and uh, what you deserve and maybe being pushed to more so i'm um, hearing up the ante no okay that's bad wording um to um to raise your standards better wording um the two of pentacles and the eight of swords at a certain point if not several different points you're going through a balancing act within a limiting or trapped sort of uh, restricting situation feels very job uh, oriented but i do feel as if you are doing your best and uh, you're succeeding now look at this the lover's card you're feeling the love again flowing towards you my friend let's get ready to wrap up this amazing reading by saying not only are your choices very important throughout this week and more so moving forward but it's a week where the abundance in a multitude of forms is raining on in. You're meant to be one with it and expect even more of that moving forward. As Spirit's saying, you are correct by assuming and feeling that you're meant for so much more. Absolutely amazing reading. So I hope it was truly helpful. Make sure to, of course, reach out for me, uh, reach out to me for a personal reading. Everything is down below. You know the drill, just uh, shoot me a quick email. I am looking forward to it. I'm sending you all the love and light. Definitely go enjoy your powerful week.